Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Inks and I'm from IGS Electronics. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of fault finding on our semen setup that we've got in here. And I ran into a, a small problem. So basically what I'm trying to do in here, I'm trying to add a, uh, a 1500 series PLC, uh, 1200 series PLC into my network. And also I want to, I'm going to be start playing with the server drives, the semen server drives. And I decided to put the switch into in the middle of it, so basically all these things connect together. So uh, another thing, what I did, I don't know how somehow by uh, what, what I did. Basically, why the, I've got a ET200 SP uh, controller in here, and I wiped it. I just uh, wiped all these parameters and everything off the controller. So it's not a big problem. I just need to send them in again. So what I did, I connected my uh, uh, switch, Ethernet switch. And uh, was trying to well done my pathology, which give us will give us give us as well the chance to see what you need to do when you add switch into your network, uh, the internet switch to your network, and, and and how to set up. But but whatever I, whatever I did, or how I did it, uh, connected it all up. Everything worked, but for whatever reason, when you use a switch, it fails to transfer the th the parameters into the ET two hundred SP. And today I'm going to show you what I did to overcome that. And how that would look in reality. And hopefully, if you have this problem and you haven't, well, and you're watching this video, it'll help you out. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, there we are. So, there's my controller. Controller is flashed now, so it's basically it's it it start from the fresh. So uh, it's flashing. It's that it, 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 it doesn't see anything. There's no configurations into it. So there's my CPU. Of course, it's, it's flashing red because of some of the configuration issues. And also, this is this is my switch that I'm going to be using. So this is the switch where I, I want. I've got my uh, laptop coming in here. I've got my HMI coming in there. I've got a, um, a CPU coming in there, and I also have. Oh, I also will have this drive right here going into as well. So what we need to do, we need to get that switch up and running. So how about we're going to try doing that. So let's jump on across in here. So this is my previous uh, setup that I was uh, uh, playing before. So what I need to do is a, uh, add a hardware. So for the hardware, as I, I just typed in, uh, you have to be in topology view, guys. So make sure you're on that when you are setting up your topology and looking for a uh, Ethernet switch. So my switch is right here, and which is a 0BA001AB2. So let's put that in here. So what I'm going to do in here, I'm going to uh, delete that. And uh, I know the, the, oh, I don't want that. Yeah, I don't want you to go there. There we go. I know that my uh, port 1 here is communicating here with a port 1 in here. And I know my port 1 in here, P1 in here, is coming to get port, port P4 in here. So pretty much this would be my setup, and uh, so you can see my configuration in here, which we did in previous videos, is all right here. So that should be transferred across, IP addresses, everything is in there. Actually, what I'm going to do before we do that, to show you how the, the, to, to start it from the fresh, we're going to wipe the IP. Okay. Let's show that one. So, uh, so just just uh, double show it to you that I'm starting from a fresh. So uh, what we're gonna do? We're gonna delete that and we're gonna fully reset it. There we go. So it's completely now. Everything's gone off that controller. So uh, to be sure that that's the case, we need to go back in. We need to add the IP address again because we just wiped it. So we need to give it to me. As you can see, all all it sees is is MAC address. So let's show it. Ooh, show that one. There we go. So uh, let's go in diagnostics, functions, and there's our IP address. So let's go 192.168.0, and, and that was 22, I believe. So, uh, and then we're going to go 255 for sudden mask, 255 and 255. Which is standard for everyone. So here we go. Let's give that uh, give them the new IP address. Well, it's all uh, old IP address back. So uh, and if you go into the accessible nodes, you will see the address has been given. Here we go. It's got his home. Let's go into the. Come on, let's cancel that one out. So let's go into a, a configuration right in here. 
uh, sorry, in the network. And as you can see, we put a little eye on there. The configured IP address is right here as well. So technically, when we pumped, when we concentrate now on the CPU, we should be able to pump in all of this setup, including including the configurations for our ET200 SP station. So let's see what happens. So, oh, I don't want to do that. Just cancel that one now. Uh, let's go concentrate on CPU. We can do that from there, but I just like to be concentrated on CPU. And let's load in the configuration. So technically, everything should work. Let's have a look. Hmm. As you can see, now everything is up to date. But what we're going to do, we're not going to start the modules. Because it will, st it will my, my CPU is going to go funny. So let's finish that one. And as you can see, he did not load in the configuration. This guy in here, he doesn't know what he's doing. I, I don't know if it's a bug or what. But it technically, it should communicate, and technically, you should be able to load all the configuration. But it didn't. So what I did is I did this. So I removed these guys from topology. All right. So grabbed a uh, okay, this cable in here, and I connected directly to port two. Of CPU, it can be port one, but for me that the free one is port two for now. So because other one is plugged in somewhere else. So and then uh, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna join these in topology in here. So now, I got, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pump this, pump the information in there this way. So there we go. That's the new stuff. Boom. Let's see if something changes. And as you can see, it was able to transfer all configuration into ET200 SP station. Funny, right? I'm not sure why it doesn't go through the switch, but it doesn't. So, interesting. So we still have some form of uh, red down there. Let's see if that gets sold when the model goes into start. So if the red disappears. Yeah, we'll have a look in a minute. Why do we still have a red one down there? Why do we why do we have a red one down there? Let's go online and let's have a look at it. Uh are you missing something? Oh, it's an topology. Duh. Alright, look at that. It's an topology. Okay, I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. So let's go offline. Yes, yes. I didn't realize I did that on a, on a P2. So we had, see, that's why pathology is very important. It needs to be P1. So, uh, and then let's load that in. And load. Come on, that should be quick. And that's finito. And is the red disappeared? Yep. So with that, here we go. That, that was a, the a problem. And now, that I was able to uh, send all the configurations into it, so uh, I'm able to add the switch. So basically, I will add uh, I'll add the switch. So I'm gonna take get rid of this one, delete, and I know my P1 now is communicating with P4. Oh, whoa! I must have clicked again something. Oh uh, no, no, that one, that one, and that was. We'll be talking to P1. So let's get our thingy back in now. So let's remove the direct con connection to it and add it in here. As you will see in a minute, it will say it will say it will it will, it will stop flashing in there. It says, "Okay, I'm communicating, but I have a bit of a problem in the lower level somehow, and that's to do because of the topology. We can fix that now." So uh, what we're gonna do? We're gonna send this configuration in. There you go. And now we know that it's, it, it's, it's going through the switch. As you can see, that uh, red light has disappeared. Let's finish up, start up all the modules. And everything should be singing and dancing. That, ladies and gentlemen, how I have... Right, which button is this? Is it this one? Have come uh, across this problem and... Uh, uh, sort of solved it. Hopefully, it will give you good ideas how that works, and also a little bit of uh, information about pathology and why we use it and what kind of errors we could be possibly getting. So, yeah, I don't know why that is. 
I actually don't know why that switch. When when it why is it going through the switch and is unable to transfer the the, the parameters into the uh, the configuration files into the into the the ET200 uh, station. I don't know why. If somebody does, do let a uh, letter in uh, comment section. Let us know in the comment section below. So yeah, if you like the video, don't forget that smash that like and do subscribe if you're new to the channel. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video.